With that, my friends, I go to Ironclad. Upgrade a card. <sighs> That's tilting. That is like what tilt is made out of. That's what tilt is made out of. Searing blow deck. Ah, you know. Yes. Yes. It's happening. Searing blow deck is not good in a sense of it's seen. I've already, you know. I've already come to realize this, but I'm still doing it anyways. Dear Fat, Dear Fabby, thanks for the follow. So I want to go for the elites, but now that we have a stream blow, I kind of just want to avoid elites. Well, I can get full upgrades with here, but then I won't get the relics. Are relics that important with stream blow? See, that's the thing. It makes you want to avoid elites so you can get more. So you can get more upgrades, which is fundamentally not a good thing. Stream blow is actually awful, <laughs> but it's okay. But it's okay. Rip bash. So stream blow is just two strikes in one card. Oh my god. Okay, Headbutt's really good for Stream Blow, which is right now it's not going to be getting that much. Stream Blow's really shitty. So yeah, here's the thing. I go for maximum upgrades or I go for elites? Okay. Well, this is three elites now on this path. It's not what I wanted, but it's too late. Let's do Evolve. Evolve is going to help me draw, but I'm going to take damage now to get it out. Oh, look at this. This is really nice. That was a really good elite. I like that. Music fire pot, explosive pipe, but that's about it. A tiny chest. Okay. Whirl Ooh, whirlwind. Uh, whirlwind doesn't really work well with stream blow, but it's just nice to have. So, do we go for the elite or not? Yes. Mmm, this is a bad one. This is a bad one. It's okay. Oh, we're dead. We're 100% dead. We're 100% dead. I'm telling you now. Anchor helps. Shockwave helps. This is just... Blood vial is nice. Give me a heal. Thunderclap is really good with the Searing Blow, but we already have Shockwave and Bash Plus. I'm gonna take Reckless Charge just to get a little bit more oomphy oomphy. We're gonna keep upgrading because if we don't upgrade, then we're just not gonna win, right? So I'm, there's a chance that the the Guardian just kills me, especially in a fight like this. Uh, there it depends on what you feel like, what you have the damage to do. Like it depends on if you feel you're gonna kill the one on the right first and save life that way. I don't think there's an opti wave, optimal way for sure. Okay, seeing red. I'm just taking a lot of random cards. This is really bad. <laughs> Ooh, Orwin's not bad here. Let's bring back the Searing Blow. So this guy is dead. Let's go ahead and full defend, because he's dead. 100% dead. 
Spot weakness is really good. Flex is really good. Truger is really good because Truger not only is more consistent defense, but it helps us get the deck smaller for certain blow. Okay, so maybe we can survive. Maybe we can survive this uh, Guardian. I don't know. We'll see. If there's an easy boss, it's the Guardian. And now I'm going to draw stream blow and I can't use it. Well, never mind. We're fine. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Energy pot. Funeral pain. It's really nice. I like that because we have Reckless Charge. So now we have Block with Reckless Charge. I like that a lot. We have Evolve. So wait, we have the combo. I just realized. Evolve, Reckless Charge, Funeral pain. That's going to give us the block we need. Energy pot over the Dexterity pot. I'm happy with what I got. Let's upgrade again. Okay, we actually got this. We're in there. We are in there. I should have done a shrink pot maybe, but you know what? Stream balls to take care of this. Or this. Okay. Or that. So we do want to do Shockwave, right? For the weekend, which I was a big misstep, misstep there. True Grit. Alright, that's it. The, our short of damage is going to be Searing Blow, so we don't have to do anything else after that. Mmm. See, with that, sh it hurts to miss it. Mmm, I'm probably going to die. I should have blocked, but Searing Blow is like how I win. And now we didn't get a trigger, so we might be. Poof, that'd be rough. Alright, the weekend's gonna save us. The weekend's gonna save us big time. Let's keep bringing back the reckless charge. Yes, so Bash. Oh, I want to do stream below, but Bash is really good too for the Reckless Charge and the Strike. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, I think Bash is better. So we can bring back something to guarantee lethal next turn. So I would say the Searing Blow next turn is lethal. All right, we have lethal. Ooh, that was rough, but we got through the act one. Okay, we're in there. Demon form, just to have it. Berserk, just for more energy. Oh, Snekawai, let's go. So we do have... I should take demon form, but you know what? We do have Reckless Charge, which is not going to be that good with Snekawai. But, hey, Fidio Dabriese. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I guess Snekawai, which makes uh, Searing Blow, but we played a lot more often. So we want to get as many upgrades as possible. We got one, two, three upgrades here. We get an elite. Over here we get one, two, three upgrades in an early elite. Or we can skip the elites altogether. Let's go ahead and skip the elites. Okay, well this is uh, less than ideal. Barricade would be nice in this deck with the Funeral Pain. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. I should have brought back Stream Blow. That was actually smarter. Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Yikes, this is rough. I need like a regal pillow or something. Oh, I was lucky. Where the hell is Searing Blow? Oh my god. Another True Grit? I feel like we need, yeah, things like True Grit. They're not upgraded though. Panache. Entrench could be good. 
because it can be cheap and so carnage can be good as well let's remove things that are wait is there another shop coming up let's remove a strike all right Mmm, this is rough. I should've got Ancient Pot, huh? I got rid of Bash, that's really bad. Uh-oh. Oh, we have Funeral Pain Evolve. Wait, 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 it's not too bad for us, actually. Headbutt was probably better. But Funeral Pain Evolve is gonna be really nice to just, to just win. So now Wreck and Charge has no downside, right? Now the days is the only game can block and card draw. So Carnage, like I said, is it's not bad. I'll take it. But we do want to. Whoa, this could be interesting. Yes. So with <laughs> they will may not be free, but here's the thing: because we have Snake uh, Searing Blow, we just want to like survive for a few turns and kill him with Searing Blow. So that's why Aberration's good. This is the first one I've done Aberration on Ironclad, so I don't know how this is gonna be. And we're not drawing Stream Blood too often. Despite the fact that it's not good, we're still not drawing it too often. There it is. Okay, this works. It works. Easy. So Berserk's not gonna get too much value, but you know what, whatever. Upgrade the stream blow again. Alright, it's only getting fatter. Oh, this might be rough. Wait, I already have Snickle, I don't care. Apparition for the win, baby. More apparitions. All the apparitions are free, and the Searing Blow is headbutted for free. That's like the best turn. What? Look at that turn. That turn needs to be in a museum. Of, uh... What? Okay, this, this deck is coming together. This deck is coming... Perfected Strike is a little bit better, because if... But we don't want it, right? We want to just focus on the Searing Blow. I can go for Elites now. Yeah, I can go for an elite now. I do want to visit the late shop as well, so maybe I won't, but I'm not too worried about elites here. That was crazy. That the fight was crazy. Alright, got rid of the apparition anyways. It's okay. Yes, if I can find something about barricade, this is the absolute nuts. Main problem. Oh, well, never mind. Not a problem. So apparition got discarded there. I didn't know that. Wait, is that true, L? Is that true, L? Ah, uh, so we want to do searing blow. We also want to do apparition. This is one of those fights where it's like, so we're gonna be getting twelve block anyways. So we gotta play a damn. I wish we had energy pot. We gotta play Evolve for the Days. We have to do Apparition. Damn, so we need to Evolve for the Days, but we also gotta play Apparition. Yikes. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. This is not good. Kifinas, thanks for the follow. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, guys, if you guys may have a Twitch Prime laying around, completely free, you guys. Hmm, okay, we're good, we're good. So, the fact that we didn't have Evolve made it a little bit rough, but I think we should manage now.
All right, I'll just use fire pot. That was a mistake. Whoops. We got me in the bone right now. We didn't. We just got burning blood. Clothesline plus. Again, I want to max my stream blow, right? So, we do want to go for the late shop. But like, like I said, the elite could be interesting. We'll go this path. Juicy bracelet. Mm. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. Ori Calcum, very good with the apparitions. I'm getting snow. Yeah, I am a little bit, a little bit. I'm getting owned a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit! Hey. SP Socks, thanks for the gifted tier 1 sub to Glebco. Thank you for that gifted sub. Appreciate that so much, man. Glebco's a good guy. He chose wisely. Yeah, the upgrade on Fino Pain is kind of needed, I know. That's a problem with Serum Blow, right? Because you want to... Um, you want to always upgrade Serum Blow, but then... You lose a lot of power elsewhere. Mm, so here's one of the situations where I want to do... Hmm. See, this is kind of sucky, right? Because I can't play as many apparitions as I would like. And now I can't play stream blow. So the RNG is really bad. I'm not getting cheap stream blows, and I'm not getting cheap apparitions. It's really messing me up. Hey, thank you, SP Socks. That's, that's good thinking there. So, all right. At least we're doing damage. Deck's still a little small. Uh, it's a little large, so I'm not getting to stream blow that often. Okay, we, we're making it through. We're making it through. Reaper could be interesting just to get a little bit of heal here and there, but we don't have any strength scaling, so it's not that great for us. But a free Reaper could save the fight. But I I'm going to skip. Let's hope the shop is something good. I guess you play the Apparition, but there's really no point. Yes, armor is supposed to be really good, so I can get some upgrades. And not only that, I can also scale up on the stream blow. That's exactly. Okay, this is what I'm. This is this is the kind of turns I want to see. More of these turns, please. Yes, armaments. We just talked about it. We just need to upgrade the armaments. Dean fire could be good to thin out the deck and just get searing blow nonstop. I kind of like that with pendib as well. Maybe happy flower. I think happy flower is better than pendib. Yeah, let's go remove. Yeah, I think that's good. I think the fiend fire is gonna help a lot. Guys, stream blow more consistently. So we could upgrade the armaments, or we could upgrade stream blow. I think armaments plus is probably better, because we could also make my apparitions not discard. So this is one of those turns where we lose one of the apparitions. Like my go Yeah, I gotta go use the bathroom. So matter of fact, here's what I'm gonna do. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. So now that doesn't now that doesn't go away. Wait, wait, wait. This is crazy. So we could do Fiend Fire to thin out the deck, or I could just do Bash, focus on the boss, and hopefully these apparitions save my ass. But I'm going to be right back. I got to use the restroom. I'm like dancing all over the place. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's hope this works out, all right? We have a timeline. Tom Tokamak. It's because of the... Uh, it's because of the... Um, Searing Blow. Sorry, Snake Eye. So we do want to bring Searing Blow back as often as possible. But we also don't want... So we can do Shockwave. I think we gotta do Serial Blow back. And we're gonna lose Carnage anyways. So here's the thing. We really want to... Like, the ads are gonna start hurting us, but I feel like we gotta focus the boss. I don't know. That's just my... <laughs> Maybe this is a mistake. Maybe I should be killing the ads. I'm not even sure. 
I should be doing Dexpot. I don't know why I didn't use Dexpot. This might be rough. If I don't get the apparitions, then... Because I already lost two in the beginning. I only have one left. It's probably just GG at this point. Alright, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> it's GG. There's the apparition to save the day. Maybe this saves me. There's no way. So Fiendfire is obviously a good way to get some defense as well. Wait, let's see, guys. Hey, how you doing, Champagne? Welcome. Let's see. Bring back the Searing Blow or the Fiendfire. Either, I think Fiendfire is probably better to get the defense, but you know what? I'm going to do Searing Blow here. I'm going to push for damage. Now, there's a chance that there's no way we win, right? There's no way we win, right? Wait, is there a way we win? There's no way, right? So I can do armaments and then defend, defend, and trench. Does that survive? So let's, let's do the math real quick. That's going to be... Um, 11, 11. No, no, uh, that's already upgraded, so that's going to be 9, 9. So 6. Okay, 24, 40, 24, 48. It's going to be 48 block. So it makes us, we survive with that. Can we just survive with defend, defend, and trench? That is going to be 15, 30. 30. And we're looking at 34 damage. So I will loot, I'll take 4 damage, but I can get a Searing Blow in and potentially push for lethal. And then if Fiendfire comes in, I can defend with Fiendfire. So I, I, don't, I think I gotta do Searing Blow. Like I, I could do Armaments and just get Searing Blow upgraded and then also full defense. But I think I'm going to be too far behind on this. And we have Headbutt next turn, so let's do this. So there's a big chance. There's a big chance we have lethal if we get like headbutt to shrug it off or something. We didn't get the headbutt. Do we have lethal anyways? Fiendfire? Oh, I can't believe I won. I can't believe I won. Hello, YouTube. Welcome, YouTube. This is gonna be a Sneko Eye deck with Searing Blow. And apparitions. Guys, on top of that, we're gonna do barricade. Because we're getting a lot of excess block, maybe a little bit here and there, because we're creating days with reckless charge and fatal pain. Maybe barricade is gonna be good. Obviously, offering could be really good too to get card draw and energy. But I feel like barricade is the play. So we're going barricade. And now we got an energy relic, so now we're okay. So I could take Mark of Pain because we already have Evolve, and that makes Fiend Fire a little bit stronger. And it's another target to exhaust. So let's do market pain. So we're going against the awakened one, which is kind of rough, right? I want to be honest, kind of rough. So apparitions has to save us. I think the awakened one is just gonna kill me. <laughs> I thought I was dead as a dick as I, I. To be honest, I thought I was a little bit dead too, a little bit more than dead. So we'll get as many upgrades as possible, and then we're going for the Awakened one. This could be bad. Let's just take it one step at a time. I could have had books. I already had block. So Barricade would be really awesome, but... Barricade is also kind of rough in the sense that I don't know. It's a power. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Have I been streaking? I I had one win, one I lost one, and then now we're on this run. So this guy is gonna do one damage when he explodes. It's not a big deal. Even if he wasn't doing one damage, I have to already block. So there's the barricade. 
I want to bash, but at the same time, I don't want to take damage. Uh, so, man, man, oh man. The, um... The barricade helps a lot, and now the true with the armor and plus, everything's coming together. I just need to get the final paint upgraded, probably. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for Shane Blow to kill this guy. Okay. Skippy Skippy. Flame Bear is not bad. Flame Bear is pretty fantastic. I'll take it. All five at the very end of like, oh, that sucks. So get the curse or get madnesses. Uh, madness could be interesting in Searing Blow. Sorry, with uh, Sneko Eye because it counteracts Sneko Eye, right? Let's try it. Let's try it. So it can make something of my choice always free. Or it can just be two curses on their own. Because madness tends to be two curses on their own. So apparition is no longer going to leave me, which is really nice. Because the last thing I want is for them to leave me. If I had barricade now, this would be a lot of block. Too lazy to do the math. Which part? When? Oops. Arrow trends could be good. Uh, it it's risky because it may not be free. But card draw is always nice. Ooh. Ah, we just lost an apparition. Rip. Alright. We need barricade out ASAP. Oh, the theme fire. Yeah, I was too lazy. Uh, I should probably do apparition. See, I do want to do funeral p apparition. So I want to do barricade, but I don't want to take damage this fight. Mm, not the best place. Okay, so Seeing Blow is good here. Bring Seeing Blow back and then Flame Barrier. Fantastic. Seeing Blow is a little rough in this fight because it's single target and these guys are AoE. Oh, I shouldn't have Armor Mints on the Apparition. Whoops, that was a mistake. So I can make Defend always free. That's always nice. I always play tons of cards. Uh, J Z J uh, Z J Z S J, I suppose. Well, this is rough. I should have done this since the beginning. Seeing blue again. <laughs> All right, let's upgrade this hearing blow. I don't know, maybe we can kill the awakened one with just like... So here's here's my plan. We burst down the first form. And then after the first form is bursted, we save... Ugh, try to save the apparitions for the second phase. What was that noise that just came out of my mouth? It was like... Bleh. Trying to English names in the game, we're going to find the names of the cards. So this is called Market Peen. This is Happy Flower. This is called Fiend Fire. Um, just ask a question, and I can try to help you. Battle Trance is free, and Carnage is free as well. Have I tried the daily? I had not tried the daily. Is it fun, Hanuta? Should I feel no pain first, huh? Okay, so Barricade doesn't come out very often. Because my deck is... Oh, you're talking about my deck sizes? Yeah, my deck is actually really large. So I, I see what you're talking about. Because I just realized how off 
how not often I'm getting the things I want to get. It was really good. Oh, you like the two champagne? Okay, I'll try it. I'll try the daily. So now this apparition is never going to lead me. That's really nice. So we need to get an armaments on the apparition for awaken one. Because we need to save the awaken one for the second phase. And we need to make sure this this serum blow is actually doing some work. Daily is funny, but still too easy. So what is it? I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Region pot. Perfected strike? No. No, 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 no. I think we can fight elites, right? Is this is this a mistake? Oh, uh, this might have been a mistake. This might have been a massive mistake. All right, guys. Well, I just lost the run. Hope you guys have a good one. Giant head was actually the worst one. The worst one for me to go against. Why him? Out of all of them. At least... Like, at least give me... Barricade early. I can't entrench my way to victory if I don't get barricade. Fuck's sake. And now we just lost all our apparitions. But yes, ideally, entrenching my way to victory would be really nice. There's the barricade. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of the true grit. Am I? No, I was gonna get rid of everything. It's okay, we can keep the berserk. I think I could do this if I get entrenched, right? But if I don't get entrenched, we're in trouble. So armaments is fantastic here. Not only does it make Serene Blow stronger, it allows me to keep the apparitions if I want to. That's 109 damage. That's not that's nothing to scoff at. The last thing I want is True Grit to hit the string blow, so I have to wait here. We can do apparitions so that we can we can actually save our block for the next turn. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do searing blow and then headbutt the searing blow right back. And now we're gonna true grit. Alright. So we're we're in the clear, I feel like. Because we saved a lot of block there. And Shrew Blow is getting massive again. Oh, it's gonna be a good turn, guys. It's gonna be a good turn. Alright, we're doing it. Forty-five damage is not good enough. That's not that's not bad. So it's actually not bad to do apparition there because we save all that block. Oh, it's a good turn right here. He got a bash, searing blow, headbutt the searing blow. It should be GG. Oh, apparition's clutch. I like this deck a lot. Dreamcatcher is not worth at all because I want to upgrade all day. Whatever, it happens. Exhum could be interesting for Fiendfire again after I already used it once to get block and I could do it again. So Exhum could be also be good if I end up getting the Disarm. So that was not worth Dreamcatcher. I mean, I didn't die, but I just wish I got a better Relic. Whatever. Let's keep upgrading. Yes, this could be good. This could be good. Calipers would be nice, right? So I, so I can get some calipers before the barricade comes in. The problem is I don't have a good discard, so I'm probably going to burn on my apparitions early against the Awakened One. So my goal is to get armaments on the apparitions so they don't become ethereal. I should, I should probably pick up another armaments. This could be good. This could be calipers. This could be gambling ship. Let's bring back carnage. Oh, I mean that works. 
Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Oh, I just realized we can do exhum for apparition. Wait, I just realized. That's actually nice. Oh, sh wait, that's actually nutty. Exhum for apparition. Okay, that changes everything. So I'm gonna upgrade one apparition. You're right. I'm gonna upgrade one or two apparitions just so I don't fall into that that dilemma of apparitions getting rid of themselves. That's a good. That's a good idea. Obviously, I want to upgrade string blow so I can ensure that it's really strong. But I think apparition is also really important. It's a good. It's a good point. Blow. I never see you. Like, are, do you even exist in my deck in any capacity? There you are. I've been loving SCS video. You talk through a, your runs a lot and pick some cards I never think to make and work. It helps my game too. Ain't no problem though. Some hooded shirts. I'm glad you enjoy it, man. So I got Peace Pipe, which is not really what I was looking for. Oh, we're going to go for another Elite. I guess we'll upgrade the next. The next two things will be upgraded to two apparitions. That's fine. And that's the, that's the nuts. If we can get barricade like that early, that'd be amazing. I guess if you think about it, sorry, I just keep thinking about all the different possibilities. If you think about it, armaments could upgrade string blow within the fight. So I could always let armaments upgrade string blow within the fight, but there's a bigger chance that I lose the apparition within the fight if I don't upgrade it. So it makes sense to upgrade the apparitions before the fight. The stream blow always scales up. So it's very smart thinking. I'm going to upgrade the next two apparitions. Why no body slam? Um, you know, body slam would, could be fine. You're right. You're right about that. I have a suspicion I'm not going to be having this much block against the boss. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I'm getting this much block because there's a lot of days. Ancient pot. Okay. So I do want to go to the store because I have a lot of gold, but I also want to upgrade. So it's like, eh, all this money, whatever. So we're going to, we can toke. No, definitely upgrading the apparition, right? We came to that conclusion. To upgrade one of them at least. This is a start I can get behind. This is a start I could really get behind. Okay. I like that. That person counters this enemy entirely. Are you kidding me? Explain to me why the, the two of these I did in Act 3 give me Prayer Wheel and Dreamcatcher, my absolutely worst. So offering is fantastic, cause, but you gotta be careful. So yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the next apparition. All right, so we have two of them upgraded, and the other two could potentially be upgraded by armaments. So we had armaments anyways, but we got barricade, and I feel like that's worth. So yeah, I'm gonna get barricade out. It's fine. Okay, looking decent. Let's go do ancient pots. Save on to the region pot. I'm also gonna do funeral pain as well. I know I'm giving him strength, and I want to be saving some of these apparitions. Did I just use one of the apparitions? I think I did, didn't I? I did. Why did I do that? So we only have two apparitions left in the deck. Evolve. Okay, we'll do evolve too. We're using all the powers. That's actually, that could be stupid.
So Searing Blow kills one of these guys. Alright, I want to keep this Apparition. So I, I gotta... So I can look for Armaments. No, I can't. So Armaments is already played, so I have to use this Apparition. But we'll keep that one. For acts For the Phase 2 or whatever. I got Headbutt back, so that's really good for... Searing Blow. Okay, so now we always have exhumed for the apparitions later on. So if I ever want to get two apparitions for the, the, the boss, that's fine. So I'm going to hold on to exhume here. My weak condition is entrenched as well. It's just two things that I have going for me. I have two things going for me, right? I have the entrenched and the apparitions as a backup. And then searing blow for damage. Let's bring Entrench back. So I could fiend fire everything here and get rid of everything and just have Entrench, but that's really bad. So we're just not gonna do that. <laughs> Apparitions makes it easier to get the Entrench going. It's very true. I should have done Armaments first. I just missed a big, a big pop opportunity there. I'm discarding the discard. I'm sorry, I'm just triggering the discard as opposed to the wounds because the wound gives me draw. So let's bring arm. Let's actually just bring Searing Blow back. Entrench again. Yes, okay. So I have all this block and then I have Searing Blow cycling. This, it's very hard to lose, I would say. At this point, we can bring back one of the apparitions. The one that's upgraded. Beautiful. Okay, let's get rid of the... Berserk is never going to get played. So let's get rid of that. Let's entrench again. Okay. Barricade entrench is nutty with Apparition, actually. But you guys knew that. No, no, no I, I was thinking about it, but I wasn't going to do it. So, Armin's first for Serenblow Scaling. I, I missed it once. I'm not going to miss it this time. I could, nope, can't even do it now. This is so GG. Wow, this deck is amazing. I want to get Apparition again and Barricade again. It's, I want to do this again. Okay, now we're playing some more Ironclad. I might as well use the Apparition, but let's bring back Serenblow and... Okay. You joined into a Searing Blow Apparition Barricade and Trench deck. That's what you joined into. And it feels damn good. 999. Nine, nine. What is up, Stalking Midget? I mean, if you just joined, then you're not really doing a good job of stalking. Oh, we got the headbutt. Let's go. Right, at this point, I'll get rid of... I can just do Fiend Fire. Yeah, fuck it. Make the deck nice and slim. Can I get a shout out for my thin? Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Bash, Serene Blow. Yes. We got Entrench, that's why. G. F and G, guys. That was... That's something I'm proud of. I want to do that again. I like Apparition on the Ironclad. I recommend you get Apparition with Barricade, right? Funeral Pain as well. Get the Reckless Charge to get some days. Evolve as well. And then have something like Searing Blow to do damage. If you don't have Searing Blow, get a Body Slam. And that was super fun. Snekawai also was super fun on that as well.